Man, I thank you guys for coming out. Uh, this is something that's going to be bigger than we even know. Um, I was sitting at my desk about two months ago, and it just came in my spirit. And God pressed upon me that I was to do an event, an event for women, an affirmation event for women, produced strictly by men. I said, affirmation event. So I prayed about it, and every name that popped up, I started to call. Every guy that I called said, count me in right then. We're at a place of healing for our community, but it starts with us coming back into our place. Women are going around having all these conferences and all these sisterhoods, but two-thirds or uh, a third, uh, half of them, 20, 23 chromosomes are male. <laughs> 23 of their chromosomes are male. They can't become whole without us. Women don't affirm themselves. They can support each other, but they cannot affirm themselves. When a man tells a woman she's beautiful, it, she glides. It means something different to her. to becoming a man. One day out of the blue, I noticed my foundation was getting shaky. I noticed my loving grandmama wasn't as quick and had weakness in her hands. Her only fatherless grandson, whose divorced father became the king of broken promises, she loved me as if I were She loved me as if I were the next person to gain a royal crown. And every day seems like it's better than the next. Sometimes when she misses me a lot, she'll send me a little text. She's my vegetable, my starch, my fruit, and my meat. I'm a glutton for her mutton. She's everything I want to eat. <laughs> Sophisticated woman. Your intellect is my retreat. It's amazing how sweet the feeling is when you witness someone who formerly had cancer, but they are now cancer-free. But it's more amazing when you can feel the spirit of somebody who fought the last battle in the fight with all of their strength and might. So one day, just maybe, you and I can work for sure to possibly find a cure. Taking care of someone with cancer or oh, have experienced cancer myself, I belong to few generations. My great-grandmother is still around. My grandmother is still around. My mother is still around. And I'm married to a wonderful woman. And I have children who have wonderful mothers. I'm experiencing it now. 
for the last two years, I've been a caregiver for my mom. And I'm focusing this on the caregivers. Because until you have to be a caregiver, you really actually experience what that person goes through because you're right there with them. You are amazing. We can never be like you. Thank you. Pure beauty, nurturing, caregiver, always there. Person that I can always depend on.